And good day. Today we're having a look at this. Well, in particular, a broken USB port, a double one. I had the grandkids over and uh, they loved the projector. And when we had the USB hard drive plugged in, they pushed it against the wall and it snapped the actual device itself, the whole thing. So I'm going to pull it apart and solder a new one in. Well, at least that's the idea. So let's get into it and see what happens. Now for the repair, we'll be using a USB 2. This is a twin uh, 90 degree version, as you can see there. A couple of different types of screwdrivers. I've got a variety of solder suckers. I don't know which one I'll be using. Some soldering fluid, a bit of solder. This is a 60-40 mix. 40% is lead, 60% is tin. And of course soldering iron and over here I've just got a tissue with a little bit of uh, water on it so that'll be uh, useful for cleaning the solder off the iron itself. And that's basically it so let's get into it. We'll be needing some screwdrivers to dismantle this uh, Toptro X7 projector. And uh, I've got to have a good look at it because I'm not certain how this thing is put together so I'm guessing we will need to remove these little rubber legs so let's see what's underneath them I've removed the first rubber pad and surprise surprise there's no screw under there so that was a waste of time we'll have to have another look and see how we can get into it so far I've pried this little piece off and there's a little black mesh underneath and I'm in the process of pulling this piece off and I'll see if I can get it right open without breaking anything and we'll come back and have a look. I've now managed to pry this piece off and it is now giving us access to little clips on the side so I'm going to use them and see if we can take the bottom off and hopefully that'll give me access to a couple of screws that I can pull the whole unit out with. But uh, we have to keep going and we'll find out shortly. I'm either right or wrong, one or the other. Now I've pried off the lid, the button itself. This is held in place by two little screws. I've taken that off and that was easier than trying to pull out this little connector because that's a bit, uh, bit brittle, I think. There were four screws holding this down, so there was one, two, three, and four. And with a bit of luck, it will lift. And there we go. So we've now got access in to replace this. And I've just got to desolder that area there, and we're in business. Now I'm half and half. I don't know whether I'll disconnect things and see how hard that is and come back in a second now after having a look at these plugs they're on pretty tight and it's probably just as easy for me to stick a bit of paper in here and just simply desolder from here it saves me pulling everything apart and uh, reassembling as they say so i'll get the soldering iron heated up we'll desolder this area here with the solder sucker and pop the new one in yeah, i've decided to use the copper brad and uh, see if we can get rid of some of this stuff. Really should have a bigger soldering iron, but this is the only one I've got. Well, now I've got the old part out. Now it's just a matter of getting the new one and sticking it in place. So we'll do that and come back in a few seconds. Yeah, I finished up using the solder sucker it was the only thing that uh, worked and it cleans out the, the actual solder beautifully yeah I don't have my macro lens on at the moment but I've cleaned out all the solder that's required there and next thing will be popping this little piece in the board's a little bit too hot for me at the moment I'll let it cool down, we'll put this in position and solder it up. So now it's just a matter of popping this piece in. As you can see it's sitting in there nicely and soldering this little piece into position. So we'll get onto that in a 
second. I'm not certain whether I'll use solder or solder paste. Hmm, have a think about it for a tick. So we'll pop a bit of flux onto it and uh, start doing a bit of soldering. Uh, for the fun part, a bit of soldering. Well, I've got it all soldered up now. Get this out. What I did, I used a bit of paper underneath to hold the plug in position. And uh, it looks all right. So we'll reassemble this thing and, well, obviously turn it on. And <laughs> with a bit of luck, it might even work. Uh, it's just a matter of putting the screws back in and hopefully everything will align nicely. So everything's aligning okay, I'll reassemble it. And I've just assembled the whole unit. I put the uh, switch on the top here again. Everything's looking pretty good and it's just a matter of now I'm just snapping this back into position. And I'll tidy it up. And go power the thing on and see what happens, eh? It's probably a good idea. And there we are. Now I've got two drives connected at the moment. I've got one on the top, one sitting underneath. You can see how this cable is hard against the wall. And that's what happened when the grandkids came here. Projector got pushed against the wall. The cable pressed in and snapped the USB port. We'll turn it on now and check it out. So let's uh, have a look and see if everything is connected. and movies one and movies two so both hard drives are fully functional so the repair was successful now hopefully you've learned something from this video number one don't let the grandkids play around when you've got your projector going uh, that's the main one and number two it's relatively easy to repair even if they do break it now with a bit of luck you might even subscribe if you haven't thumbs up thumbs down either way doesn't matter leave a comment i'd appreciate that maybe your little monster i mean friendly grandkids have done damage as well um, and hopefully i'll get to see you on the very next video whatever it happens to be all the very best till then bye for now